Okay, folks, I haven't done this. I don't know if I've ever done this, actually, but this is going to be a quick uh, uh, review of a product that I just got recently, but it's so bad that I have to return it. And it's not bad because it's, it's faulty. It's bad because it's poorly considered. The Keychron... K6. This is the cheaper one. This is the plastic one uh, that's like $65 or something like that. I bought this thing um, and had it here since Tuesday. I got it on Tuesday. And the th here's, the here's the thing. I wanted a wireless keyboard with mechanical switches that would be able to switch between devices and it would basically just be like a smaller, easier to use version of, of this thing. Uh, here's This is Logitech Craft Keyboard that I've been using from, that I've been using for quite a while. Uh, thank you Logitech folks, I, I really appreciate it. But this Keychron is, um, yeah. so I followed the directions. It, it gives you a card where you're supposed to follow the directions. It's a f series of function keys and other things like that that you're supposed to press in order to get it into Bluetooth mode pairing and then uh, to stop it from going to sleep and that kind of thing and I could, I got it to go in Bluetooth then I tried to connect it to my PC and there wasn't any any directions on how to connect the second or third device this will connect three devices so I just was like well I don't know so I finally got it to pair to the PC. You have to you have to actually press function and then W to pair the second device, and then function and E up here. So these these three buttons right here are what actually does the uh, does the Bluetooth switching. So function one and each of those you have to hold you have to hold each one down four seconds to make it live. I figured that out, but the sleep thing. I have been working all day yesterday and today and i turned off the the sleep function i turned it off I i've turned it off several times actually and the thing still falls asleep so what keeps happening to me see it's asleep right now it's asleep right now now it's awake it's waking up see look now it's paired oh yeah you can see the lights uh, that's another thing that this is the highest that the uh, that the lights go and I don't really want this is not enough light not to mention the fact that you're you change lighting lights this way there's no guide there's no anything to tell you like what you're switching to you just kind of have to guess so if I just want like continuous light <laughs> of a certain color no no directions no nothing about that so so I'm just really really frustrated and I didn't want to be frustrated because man everybody talks about how cool these things are and they love them and they love to play with the keycaps and the blah 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 and they switch out the switches and all that kind of stuff this is just but uh, yeah the Keychron K6 is not the droid you're looking for. I guarantee it. Unfortunately, that's the case. Uh, so this is just a quick don't buy this kind of review. Don't buy this. Uh, buy something else and be happy. Don't be like me. Anyway, once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.